What's going on, combat sports fans? We have a very interesting fight lined up for UFC 207 on the prelims. We have the uh, flyweight fight, and we'll be getting to the prediction in a matter of seconds here, and then on to the preview for Louis Somolka versus Ray Borg. They are both ranked right next to each other at number 12 and 13. Louis Samoka is ranked number 12, and Ray Borg is ranked number 13. The Taz Mexican Devil versus The Last Samurai is going to be a very fun fight and intriguing, as both of these guys have two losses and have a lot of victories. Now let's get to the prediction, and then we'll go on to some information here. I am going with Louis Amoka to win it by KOTKO in the second round over Ray the Taz Mexican Devil Borg and it is going to be a badass fight. Let me know down in the comment section do you agree with my prediction of Louis Amoka over Ray Borg or not? You know, I am curious to know what you guys think of this one. Uh, this would be a history making one as well because Ray Borg has never been uh, finished in a fight yet the two times he's lost have been by way of decision uh, he has nine victories with one KO TKO victory uh, six wins by submission and two by decision I think I might need to get my eyes checked and get glasses I don't know we'll see <laughs> hopefully not uh, KO TKOs and submissions he's never lost by that two times by decision he's lost He's coming off a loss to Justin Snoggins uh, at U by unanimous decision at UFC Fight Night 82 back in February 2016 here. He was on a three-fight, one streak prior to that. Regine Herrera by unanimous decision. Chris Kalades by Kamora. And then Shane Howell by a rear naked choke. He lost his UFC debut to Dustin Ortiz by a uh, split decision. And that was a very fun and thrilling fight, in my opinion, even though it went the distance. He started his career off with six wins, uh, multiple submissions, actually. Four of uh, those six fights, he won by rear naked chokeholds and a TKO in one of them, a unanimous decision in the other. And uh, Louis Samoka, he is a very thrilling fighter, very fun to watch. Uh, he's got 11 wins, 4 by KOTKO, 5 by submission, 2 by decision. He's never been KOTKO'd in his pro career. He's lost one time by submission, one by decision. And he lost his last fight on a short notice uh, by Brandon Moreno, who came in and fought him and beat him by a guillotine choke. Uh, UFC Fight Night 96, uh, Samoka was supposed to fight someone else, and then Brandon came in on short notice and beat him. Uh, he was on a four-fight win streak prior to that, where he started off with uh, a KO to a side kick and punches to Ricky Valich. Uh, he beat Neil Seri by unanimous decision. Patrick Houlihan in a thrilling fight uh, by a rear naked choke in the second round. Pretty sure that was a short notice. Um, I think that was short notice as well for him coming into that fight, and then they got bumped up to the main event. You know, there was a lot of different stuff that happened there. And then he beat Ben and Win by a TKO, and then he lost his last fight, like I said. But his, um, he lost to Chris Carizio by split decision uh, a long time ago, and then, well, back in 2014, and then his uh, UFC debut, he won by unanimous decision. But prior to that, he was on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So he was on a 6 point win streak when he came to the UFC uh, with multiple submission victories there. A bar bar choke, arm bar, two rear naked chokes. So he does have a lot of submission game, and so does Ray Borg. Uh, but it's going to be very interesting. Uh, it's going to be very thrilling. I think it's possible that it's going to go the de to the decision because of how tough both these guys are. But I'm going with... Uh, Louis Samoka to win it uh, with a shocking TKO KO victory in the second round over Ray Borg. Uh, as both of these guys are going to be throwing a lot of uh, awesome combinations, I feel, and going for takedowns. And I think it's going to be somewhere like Borg maybe tries to go for a takedown on Samoka, and Samoka connects with a knee or with an elbow or an uppercut or something when Borg's coming in, maybe. Hey, you never know. Hey, it's going to be very interesting and thrilling. So I just feel that Louis Samoka is going to win this one. I like the guy. I'm a fan of his. I like Borg, but I like Samoka better. 
and I just feel he's going to get the victory one way or another, but I predict KOTKO on that one. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you like my prediction, hit the like button. Uh, leave me a comment down below about anything and everything I said, and make sure to punch that subscribe button into submission. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to punch that subscribe button into submission, and check out the featured video here that's recommended up here if it looks interesting to you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I know I'm looking forward to an awesome weekend of fights coming up here for UFC on Fox 22, and then UFC 207 later on in the month. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching.